Hi, I'm Calvin Carpenter, teaching professional at Hagen Oaks, and I'm here to show you another Tuesday tip. Today I want to talk specifically about wedges, okay? And I want to discuss the importance of bounce on a wedge, as well as how to create spin, okay? So first thing, when you look at a wedge, there's the loft and then there's the bounce, okay? That, the bounce is that um, smaller number there. So in, for example, this is an eight. So 60 degrees with eight bounce. What that means is there's eight degrees of bounce from the leading edge to the back of the sole here, okay? So depending on the shot, if I were to close this club face and play a low shot, that's taking away bounce. So imagine if you were shoveling snow and you had a shovel that had very low bounce that sat really close to the ground. In order to shovel that snow, you would have to kind of sweep to get the snow. You wouldn't be able to go down because you're going to dig, okay? Now, the opposite is true if I were to open the club and create more bounce. Now that my leading edge is way up. So again, that shovel analogy, a lot of bounce, leading edge is up. I'm not going to be able to shovel any snow going like that. I'm going to have to get steep to get under that snow. So right there, whenever you change, open, close, remember you're affecting the bounce. With that being said, a good way to kind of think is if I close it and take away bounce, I want to keep a much shallower swing, kind of more of a sweep, so it's easy for me to get under. If I go steep with the closed club face, I have a chance of sticking it because I have no bounce, okay? Opposite, play it more forward, I'm going to hit a high shot, open it up. I want a more up and down in order to get under that ball, okay? So there's bounce, kind of in a nutshell. The next thing is spin. Now this is a question I get a lot from people, like how do you put backspin on a ball on a wedge shot? So the first thing and foremost, and this is important with really any shot, um, when you're hitting off of the ground with irons, wedges, we want to make sure we're hitting down ball ground. Again, so the contact, I'll hit one demonstration, that little click sound that that's you hitting the ball first that's what we want so if we were to look at a shot and if I were to take a divot in my ball in reality should be here so if I hit this ball my lowest point of my club is after the ball so I hit the ball and then the ground divots should always be in front of the ball all right so spin how do I get spin first and foremost equipment Think of your wedges as like tires on your car. So every five years you gotta change your tires out or when they wear you gotta change them out. Same thing with wedges, very important. If you have an old beat up wedge that you've been playing forever, you're probably not gonna be able to get spin or optimize the spin you can get. Fresh grooves, keep your grooves cleaned out, no dirt in there, very important. Okay, so spin. Again, I'm gonna use that down on the ball, ball first, and hold it, okay? See how that ball stopped really quick? Again, same thing. Down on the ball, hold it, spin. What's creating the spin is that ball riding up my groove. So I have to hit down through. One last thing I'm gonna leave you with. You've probably seen it, a lot of people, they're trying to pick the ball up with a wedge, like this. That's never gonna create spin. You're just gonna pop it up, you're gonna scull it, all that. It should always be down through the ball. Notice that release. No matter if I set a lot of loft, I'm always releasing the club this way. I'm never releasing it like this, okay? I'll hit one more. Same thing. Okay, so that's it for today's Tuesday tips. Come see any one of us out here at Hagen Oaks for a lesson or tune-up. Thank you.